Devilman Crybaby. It's a modern day adaptation of the 1970s original Devilman manga, and it's a very good attempt at recreating the original in anime form. It's a show about a teenage boy named Akira living with his best female friend Miki and her family. He lives with them because his parents are away. Akira's best friend Ryo informs him that demons are attempting to take over the earth and that he's trying to prove it to the world through finding evidence of these demons. From there, Ryo and Akira set off and through a series of events, Akira gets dragged into Ryo's plot and becomes Devilman, a man who has the power to transform into a demon at will. He uses this power to fight and to conquer other demons. The show is directed by Masaaki Yuasa, the same man that made Tatami Galaxy, Ping Pong the Animation, and Kaiba. All of these shows are similar in that they all have a very distinct aesthetic from a lot of other anime. Masaaki Yuasa's aesthetic tendencies are one of the main reasons why his shows are so unique and interesting. The Tatami Galaxy, for example, is made more surreal and esoteric by its off-kilter art style. It uses bold color choices and often projects strange visual imagery on the screen. Yuasa's visuals are one of his most defining characteristics as a director. With that being said, Devilman Crybaby's aesthetic is somewhat lacking when you look at Yuasa's other work. I look at it and I can't help but feel that if he just went a little bit further with making it more stylized and bold and put in a little bit more polish, it would have been visually on the level of something like the Tatami Galaxy or Ping Pong the Animation. Now I think one of the reasons why the show looks the way it does is because it's an adaptation of Devilman. Judging from the interviews USA has given about the show's production, it seems like there was a lot of pressure on him to do the original manga justice as he's a huge fan of Devilman and has been ever since he was a kid. And this is understandable because when you're working with adapting an existing piece of media, there's usually always going to be pressure and expectations that come with that especially if the property that exists already is huge and influential in some way. This is why when huge anime adaptations get turned into live action, for example, and they bomb, fans get so mad because there's a lot of expectation of what the adaptation could have been, and messing it up is a huge issue. With all this being said, I feel like Yuasa toned down his normal aesthetic voice. He sort of mixed his own style with Devilman, and I think because of that, less of his charm comes out in the overall product. The show still has a lot of unique quirks and visual moments, but it doesn't have as strong of an artistic voice as it could have had if it was an original work not tied to the Devilman franchise. It's still a really solid show though. The plot and the characters are really solid as well, and the soundtrack is just amazing. It has a lot of 80s like synth tracks that just fit the tone and the aesthetic of the show perfectly. I just think visually, it could have been better though. But leave a comment down below if you disagree with me, or if you agree with me, or if you just have any thoughts in general. I'd like to hear what you guys thought of the show and its visuals. Subscribe to the channel if you want more content, and check out my other videos on the channel if you're interested.